crew because you know these peeps are incredible people they're not only classy but they are I just words cannot describe how phenomenal these peeps are they're not only talented but they're educated and they're phenomenal artists and um, I just I can't even go into words in fact I'm just gonna bring them to uh, <laughs> you got Carrie can you say your last name Cause Caruso Caruso you yes. see she's even got a classy name <laughs> and Matt could you say your last name Gordon Gordon see they're classy they look classy and that's that's the kind of show we're running here at the Phoenix Late Night Show dot com. Go there and you can learn all about them because I'm gonna link up their websites. And um, so let's first talk about uh, your band and how you got this classy, educated group of musicians together. First of all, how did it start? Can you go there? Well. How did it happen? <laughs> well, it happened. It was kind of a process, actually. Um, I do a lot of arranging for strings, doing rock arrangements and some jazz for strings and string quartet. And I conned Matt and my other musicians, Ver Verana and Melanie, and we formed a quartet, um, Urban Quartet. And we play all um, alternative music. We play from... Uh, rock and roll to more electronic music with turntables, so it's really exciting and fun. Everything that you're not supposed to do in a string <laughs> quartet. Exactly. Which is what I love, because that is art at its finest. When you are creating and taking it to a new level, where people say, don't do that with a string instrument. Don't do that with a brace and a cello and a violin. Are you, uh, are you crazy? That's when you know you're a true artist. When somebody says, you're crazy, don't do that. Because, you know, Picasso, I don't think he ever took an art class. And I'm sure people said, that that's ugly. Why are you painting that person like that? And that's exactly what I'm sure people are saying you're doing. And now, uh, I went out on the street and asked about you. And uh, I heard some phenomenal things about you. In fact, you uh, are do things with the Phoenix Symphony. I do. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Um, well, I've been playing regularly with the Phoenix Symphony for about two years now and um, and I guess that's kind of the uh, the thing that I've trained to do um, but working with the the urban quartet we can go out and and do all the things that we've kind of always wanted to do plug it plug into to amps and really let things go so and what, what instrument do you play? Just tell, tell the world what you I'm play. a viola player. I'm the violist, and she's the first violin player. And we have many jokes about viola players, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But and we so, still love it. And, and then what other, what are the other members of the band? Are they, um, excuse me, quartet. Oh, well, we can be a band. Yeah, we're you a know, band. We're a okay. band, a band of people, you know. Okay. So, chel, uh, Chelly, <laughs> Chelly Melly. Uh, Melanie Arger plays cello, and Verona Grandel plays second violin. Are you looking for a bass player by any chance? Oh, we well, we just might players. borrow one at a, from time to time. Are you looking for a uh, sea mammal composer by any <laughs> chance? Perhaps. Maybe we've done something with Free Willy, yeah. right? You yeah, know? I think okay. so. Well, because I'm the world's first sea mammal composer. It's not that really music for... Um, uh, the human ears, it can be very vital for the human ears, but um, I've gotten word uh, that sea mammals are pulling up to shore to hear my music. Is that why they're dying? Please don't tell me that. <laughs> I think it is, because okay. since I've been playing, I went on the internet and I said, oh my goodness, maybe I should stop playing. No. So I'm going to start getting on cruise ships there we and go. playing there we so go. that the, the, the whales don't have to come up. To now that is a whale. And we are having a whale of a good time. More. Yeah. Oh. So I was That's thinking lovely. maybe I should get in a band and we could go on cruise ships. Well, let's and we could do, do that. that. Cruise ship you guys think about that? Yes. Well, what would Whales? the Phoenix sure. Symphony say? We have to take you out the Phoenix Symphony to do that. It'll be a sabbatical. Be <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, the bees on the bass. 
That's what I do. Yeah, you know so because yes. yeah, yeah, yes. you know Eminem, Mike Milano. Mm -hmm. I rented a bass and I cracked the head off. But Oops. I just wanted to say because you guys are gonna play a little something. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. a little something good. Uh, so we're gonna go over and we're gonna play, right? Right. That's right. Okay, but excellent. I won't be able to play this time. Maybe sometime I'll be able to play. But we'll play. Yeah. It'll be fun. But I know you have to be college educated. Okay, we're going to go and do that now. So I just want to say it was an honor having you here. Likewise. You. And I Thank hope you'll you. come back. Oh, certainly. And then we're going to link uh, them to our website, and you'll have to catch what their latest thing is. So go to the thephoenixlatenightshow.com and check out the Urban Quartet. Yeah, right on.